morning. I just want to show you guys uh, something cool and accidental that I did. Um, I guess this is the video where I'm going to make the announcement, but unfortunately, the garden is now shut down. Um, unfortunately, we had an issue with water usage. Despite how much I tried uh, pulling from the air, there was still quite a bit, unfortunately, we had to use from the building, and they've opted to just shut us down. But that being said, we're, we're in August when it's still one of the hottest times of the year out here in the Middle East, and um, I think I actually managed to perhaps achieve what's called a Tansley effect. A Tansley effect is a term in a fictional series of books called Dune, where it describes uh, with environmentalism, when you create a set of patterns that begin to reinforce each other until they completely self-reinforce and it's uh, cyclical. And that way you don't have to keep changing things. So I just want to show you guys something interesting. So we shut off the water about two weeks ago, right? You got some issues. But from what I can see and feel, there's a lot of moisture here from the morning fog. Because remember, this location is on top of a mountain, so there's more humidity than usual in the mornings. In fact, if you look at that blade of grass over there, maybe you can even see the drop of water on it. Sorry, I just got to locate it. Ah, okay. Right there. So you see, it the, the, the plants themselves collect a lot of moisture. So anyways, um, about, I would say, a year ago, I scattered a whole bunch of beans all over the damn place. And they didn't actually take root when I did it, so I figured it was failed. Um, they've since actually... And it's rather remarkable what has happened. So I just wanted to give you guys, I haven't been weeding, I haven't been doing anything in the garden for two weeks now. At the very least. I would actually argue it's more like a month and a half. But I want you guys to see the uh, amount of growth there's been despite that. I think it's rather significant. We've actually had to stomp down a path so that we can actually, you know, get into the garden. But what I thought was really, really cool is if you take a look at this uh, olive tree. Not sure if you guys can see the olives very well. All right, yeah, there it goes, a little better. So, here's the olives, but then check out the beans. Now, this uh, olive tree is about, shoot, I would say 20, 30 feet high. And uh, as you can see, the beans have even managed to climb that high, which is rather remarkable. Um, haven't gotten to try them yet, but I, I believe there's enough vegetation now that going forward, the garden can collect enough moisture from the air that it can continue by itself. But, but only in these very, very vegetated areas. Because effectively, this is, this is more greenery than I would say even in Virginia, which is where I'm from. Like, we got like a legitimate forest kind of going on here, if you, can't, if you can't see. This was all cleared before I started. The, the green growth is actually something I want. The weeds are, I do not mind them because they trap that moisture. Which is what I really wanted to see happen. But I'm really, really happy with this uh, olive tree. I don't know what, what you would call it now. Anyways, I just want to thank you guys for uh, watching. Hey.